I think what happened was is some guy went in there and said, I want to make a story, a biography movie about Abraham Lincoln. And the studio was like, no, 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 that, no that's been done. Let's yeah. do something different. I got an idea. Let's throw fucking vampires in that yeah. bitch. Like, we want to make a movie called yes. Abe Lincoln. Yes, I'm listening. Vampire Hunter. I love it. And you know what he said? What? You know, stop. <laughs> I thought you wanted me to play the director. Mashed potatoes. Uh-oh. Mac and cheese. Mashed potatoes. Mac and cheese. Mashed potatoes! Mac and cheese! We watched a movie. Yeah. We watched a movie. We watched it. We watched a movie. Yeah. Hey guys, this is Jay and Mike with We Watched a Movie, and four score and seven minutes ago, we got back from seeing Abraham Lincoln and Vampire Hunters, a shitty movie. It's just fuck. I, how do you. Abe Lincoln Vampire Hunter. Yeah. How do you screw that up? So it's, it's directed by. Uh, I know I'm not saying this right. Uh, it's directed by Timur Bekmambadu. Bekmambadu? Totally wrong. That's not how you say his yeah, name. But you know what? You don't deserve to have your name said right because this sucked. So it was written by Seth Graham Smith who wrote the shit box that was Dark Shadows. And he mm. also wrote... Um, this is really depressing. You ready to be depressed? Yeah. He's writing Beetlejuice 2. <laughs> okay, so let's sum this up. Let's, let's, let, I want you guys to understand why we feel like this. If it had gone in and the movie was kind of campy and didn't take itself seriously or anything like that, it was just kind of fun, I would have had no problem with that. I'd be like, this is pretty cool. But it totally took itself serious. Like, yeah. The style, the visual effects were pretty cool. Some, part, some parts were right, but the whole slow motion shit's been done way too much. I'm done with the John Woo shit, no more. It was when Abraham Lincoln was on the horse and he was chasing down the vampire, and the vampire takes the fucking horse by the leg, right? Throws the the horse at Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln catches this fucking horse like a fucking catcher from baseball, <laughs> flips it around and rides it. And he was like, "Yep, that's right. I did that. You're human and you're a fucking president of the United States." And you think you hear Abraham Lincoln vampire and you're like, "Oh, it's gonna be campy. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be gory. Whatever." It was none of the above. So now we know why he's on the penny. <laughs> they use CGI for every landscape shot in the movie. Yeah. They use CGI for everything, and it just looked like. Just to me, it just it just looked like a video game. Yeah, kind of like it's kind of like uh, shot in the same way Goeyman was from our Netflix Nuggets. Yeah, except for Goeyman looked cool. Yeah, well, yeah, but it was Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, you gotta... If you're gonna make it overly serious and super boring, then at least Abraham Lincoln be, could be cool. The guy that the the guy that played Abraham Lincoln was just ugh. it was really boring. Yeah, and it would go from boring to John Woo, and even John Woo's style film got boring. Because there's no character development whatsoever. The bad guys are just there. It gets it's like they took a crop of generic vampires. Threw him in there with a crop of, like, and then they got like a main generic vampire bad guy, and that was it. There's no story whatsoever with the vampires, really. Uh, none. I mean, I don't know what the fuck they're after, really. And I don't even know who they are. You know, usually want to know what the story, the plot line is, and there's yeah. really nothing. It's like they went up to this guy with a script and the, and the story. They're like, we want you to do Abling and Vampire Hunter. And that anybody with a brain in their head would have been like, this is going to be campy horror fun. But he was like, this is going to be, this is going to be my JFK. <laughs> he wanted to make this like an epic like this movie. You know, you wonder how he, you, I'm gonna get Tim Burton. You know how he pitched that to the executive heads. Yeah. I mean, I, he probably took it to Tim Burton, and Tim Burton was the guy that pitched it. He's sitting there with his, his little black like turtleneck <laughs> and really skinny, and his friggin' like loafer shoes, putting them on the table, and he was like, "I want to do a movie about Abraham Lincoln," and they're like, "Yes, okay, with vampires, okay," and he kills them, okay. So and then he, so that's the story. Yes, it's Mel Gibson's The Patriot meets John Carpenter's Vampires, and then they were like. <laughs> I like it. It's a miracle. It's a miracle. <laughs> and Tim Burton's like, I know. <laughs> but yeah, that's what happened, dude. It, it was just somebody wanted to get rich really quick off like a, yeah. a stylized turd with Abraham Lincoln. We have a new record, guys. I don't think we've given anything this low. All right, what is it? 2.0 for me. No, we did. I think we gave one movie like a 0.5 one time. No, I don't think so. I think so. I don't, think I don't so. remember. It's been a while. Mashed potatoes. <laughs> Back with cheese. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, this movie had no redeeming value whatsoever to me. And it's just the acting to the entire movie. There's not one good actor in this movie to me. The special effects were over stylized. There was like one or two cool scenes of the vampires. But the rest of the movie, every time they showed the vampire, it was like, <clears throat> ah, vampire. Yeah. And they looked the same, exact same every time. That painted blue, like CGI shade. And they were just like, I'm a vampire. And oh, then he kills them. Now they didn't say that, Mike. I'm a vampire. There you I'm go. A vampire. I like what you did. I'm a vampire. I'm a vampire. Okay, stop. I'm it. a vampire. You sound like Elmo. I'm Tickle me vampire. No, I'd rather watch Twilight. What? Really bad. Dude, so I'm going to give this a 2.5. The fact that it's Abraham Lincoln and it's taking itself way too seriously is enough for me to say no. The acting's bad. The character development is awful. And then the mo the plot skips around. Now he's senator really quick. Then he's president. Then there's Gettysburg. And what the fuck?
Yeah. You know, it's just like your brain is like doing a stew shit. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. If they could have made it serious and made it a good movie or a decent movie, I, I, I'd be fine with that. It's not like I, I needed to have a campy movie, but this just failed on every level. This should have been a Instant Q direct DVD Netflix movie. Like, that had been it. And even then, I probably wouldn't have watched but the first 45 minutes. Who, who, who do you guys think would be the perfect actor to play Abe Lincoln? Is that your question? Who would play Abe Lincoln in a movie? Who would be a good Abe Lincoln? I was going to say, what's your favorite vampire movie? Okay. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'm Jane. This is Mike. And remember, what's your favorite vampire movie? Or if you want to go with Mike's question, who would play Abraham Lincoln in a reboot movie? <laughs> See you guys. We watched a movie. Yeah. We watched a movie.